rebounding team. They force a ton of turnovers. Baylor gets extra possessions. Great screen for the screener. Jared Butler for three. Defense that is sprinting down the court behind the play, and you're going to turn it over every time. Butler again splashes down. Which was uh, very difficult to play against, let alone try to beat. Good pass. There's a passing ability from Cade Cunningham to Cade Moore. They can keep you there. Uh, Baylor's very good at keeping to that side and also very good at positioning their help when you're in the middle of the Allow your opponent to window shop, uh, to just stand there and pick you apart. And uh, there, there's a great play. Back screen. Any hair is aspirational for me. Cunningham ahead and two more for the ball and draw some defensive attention. Now, Matthew Myers switched off on him and he's taken that on and a really nice move to, well, it's gonna be all about North Carolina and their guards and their rebounding. If North Carolina's guards can play in oh, what a move by Jared Butler. From three to the tune of an eight point lead after winning the Big 12 regular season championship on Tuesday. Oh my, a hammer from Butler. Oh, that's a tough lob from Butler that rang off the backboard. And here is Cunningham in transition on a catch and shoot three. Pushes him totally off the lane. Look how far out he's got to catch that. Against smaller defenders, he's able to post up easily, but look how he gets to the rim. Officials disagreed. Mike Boynton has a tremendous recruiting class, not only oh, this year, but also coming in. Beautiful pass down low. But that's something, it's not all on the officials, that's something the rules committee has to clean up. We've got to change, change the way we, we call that. So How would you Jared clean Butler, up the rule, Jay? I would, I would make it uh, more difficult. I would move it to the gather, that you have to be established on the gather, like Halloween candy on October 31st. And it's, it, it's, I don't think it's good for the game, frankly. Cunningham buries a three and makes it a 10 point game. Makes him give the ball up. at home. Just an overload on the left side. Jonathan Chamwa Chachua comes up into the middle. That draws up the middle man and then the backside defenders two on one. <laughs> no, I don't. Only a fool represents himself. Dave Cunningham off the turnaround splashes it down for two more. Now Meyer switched out on Cunningham. Cunningham should take him. Or just send him away. To move this lead back out. That answering ability is really impressive. Cunningham sized that up the whole way and splashed it down. We've talked about Baylor's ability to answer. Can they answer here? Second chance tipped up and in. Boone was engaged there. Now, Chamwa Chachua guarding Cunningham. And he just lost the dribble. Teague stepped through, got it for two. Did other than his presence. And all of a sudden, you know, we got two turnovers and Baylor taking it the other way. In the corner, Jared Butler. You should. Because that way every once in a while they can put us on camera instead of being on ESPN radio. Why are we doing Seven point game. Flavor's playing some significant late minutes as Cunningham dribbles into a three. It's a low stress enterprise for him even in big spots as Cunningham makes it a four point score. Butler that was nifty. Run there for an easy stuff for Boone. People don't go deep on their ballot it's because they just look for the best player on the best team so it's usually right. the right answer is that is a wild pass that's going to get a poster for Vital. A 360 lay in for Mark Vital. I think there may be some ribbing of, uh, of Mark Vidal on that one, but at least he made it. At least he made it. Hey, hey, hey. I need this yes, Late three. Somebody just said, I need this rebound, as Baylor does get it by 11 over Oklahoma State. Entertaining game from Waco. And this Baylor team so loaded with offensive talent. Kate Cunningham injured. We'll get word on him when we have it, but. My goodness, Jay, what a game.